Today, I would like to show you what the island on Sons of the Forest looks like with no trees on it. It is day one, and I haven't even opened my stuff yet, and uh, we are in the forest spawn, but there is no forest because there are no trees. I could have gone so far as to remove all the brush as well, but I didn't. This definitely makes enemies and uh, AI companions such as Virginia and Calvin up there very easy to see. What I want to do here, I need to get up high somewhere so we can see, look down and, and see what the island looks like without trees. That being said, I'm going to go ahead and run up here to the, uh, the hang glider and we definitely need to sled down the mountain since there's no trees in our way. I'm probably just going to run up there. I've already dev consoled the hell out of this save game. I've got to sled down this. <laughs> definitely got to sled down this. Let's go. I don't know what this is on the top left up here. Some sort of error. Oh yeah, man, you're gonna haul ass with no trees to run into. Oh, oh no. Nice. Get out of there. <laughs> oh, I'm kind of locked into it now, aren't I? Go, go, go. There you go. And here we are. At the shovel cave. Awesome. This is what the shovel cave area looks like. This save game is going to be very useful to me for finding my top five base locations. You see these videos all the time, you know, top five base locations, top 10 locations but a lot of them don't take into account that wherever you build you are going to end up cutting all those trees down and you're going to end up with a really large open space the clear obvious top fives may not actually be the top of course it's all subjective and it doesn't matter you can do whatever you want so i'm going to go get this glider right here somewhere there it is <laughs> we're going to float around just a little there we go so this is it I could possibly remove brush as well. Clear bush radius if I do like 10,000. It's going to freeze my game for a second. And now there's no brush either. And um, I have to admit I am tempted to, uh, to do that. But I can't be bothered. It's fine. I kind of like it. Some parts I like, some parts I don't. So there it is. Sons of the forest with no forest. <laughs> this is not a top base build location. However, this is amazing right here. I love this. So how did I do that? To show you that, I need to go into a game that actually has trees. We'll go into my, uh, this will be my top five base build location video eventually when that's done. Love this spot. Boy, that's a lot different, isn't it? I'll do a before and after. Obviously I used the developer console to remove all trees in the game. If you don't know how to get to this, I made a video on that as well. You could browse through the channel, you can't miss it. The command that I used to remove all trees in the game is called force remove trees and then space and then you tell the game how many trees you would like to remove and I want to remove 10. But this came with confusion because no trees disappeared before my eyes. But if you press F2, it shows you how many trees are in the game. The answer is 189,886 on a brand new game. I've cut some trees down. It is notable that if you cut down a tree and the stump still exists, the number does not go down. You have to get rid of the actual stump in order for this number to go down. 189,871, and then I force remove trees 10 the number does increase. As a matter of fact, if you say 10, actually take 11, which is weird. The mystery was, where are they removing from? If you've seen my video on north, south, east, and west, then you know that from that video, we learned that the west-hand side of the island is the starting point of all things. To explain this better, I have an image that I'll put on the screen. So this grid is not to scale currently. However, the far west side of the island, that little square is A, 
A, and it reads from left to right, A, 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 B, A, C, and so on and so forth. The theory was that this is where the trees are getting removed from first, and I was correct. I'm right on the border of zone CB and BB, and the seagulls I have got to go kill radius 1000. Thank God for that. <laughs> if I just remove one, I'm gonna I'm gonna have a hell of a time finding which one. So let's do a thousand. So I've turned free cam on and we are going to remove ten thousand trees. Which is going to take a second. If you click anywhere on the screen, you'll get the blue wheel of death and your game will crash. But if you leave it alone and let it let it work, let your PC do the work, then you will see. There you go, 10,000 trees removed, and it, it removed a perfect line of trees all the way across. So it does read exactly like a book, and then it will remove all of these trees, and then it'll switch to the next zone, and it will always start over on the west side, on the west corner of the island, every single time. I don't know how useful this is for me personally, and possibly maybe you, is that this is super interesting stuff. I spent my $30, I played my 100 hours, I beat the game multiple times, I've got all the alternate endings, I've gotten every single item, and now it's time to mess around and find out. And that's what I'm gonna do, and I'm gonna share those experiences with you as I go. And as I go, I will get more and more proficient with the game and how it works. I will find a way to make a vanilla playthrough more efficient using all of these tools. So if you wanna stick around for that, you know what to do. Have a good day, and I will see you in the next video. Cheers.